previously on Eating Good in the Woods. Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Eating Good You'd Rather woods. Have Than a Nice Irish Soda Bread. Now we're just going to start gently folding these ingredients together. Take that nice ball of dough and stick it right in the middle. And then we're going to get a sharp... Took a little longer than expected, but let's do the toothpick test. Ooh, ain't that pretty. Y'all stick around for next week's episode, which is going to be on St. Patrick's Day. And I'm going to show you what I did with that there soda. Before we go any further, I'd like to remind you guys, please don't forget to mash that subscribe button, give me a big old thumbs up, maybe even leave me a comment or two, I sure would appreciate it. Hey y'all, and welcome to a special episode of Eating Good in the Woods on a Thursday instead of a Friday. I picked this Thursday because it's St. Patrick's Day. Well anyway, I'm going to show you a little something that most people don't know about a Dutch oven. And then I'm going to take that bread that we made last week, and we're going to make some wonderful bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches out of it. Woo! Going to be hardly fit to eat. So y'all stick around. I'll show you how. In addition to that tasty loaf of Irish soda bread, you're also going to need some Irish bacon, some cheese, the more luxurious the better, a little bit of olive oil, and some eggs. So we're going to start off with about 25 coals in the bottom of that charcoal chimney. And whoa, what is this? That looks an awful lot like the inside of the lid from the Dutch oven. And that is exactly what it is. Most folks don't know that the inside of the lid of a Dutch oven is designed to act like a skillet. So we're going to let that get up to heat and then we're going to put on our bacon. Now this bacon is kind of difficult to find and well, around St. Patrick's Day it's a little easier. But I tell you, if you can't find it, friends in Lexington, Virginia, John and Mary Jones own a place called Celtic Tides. Look for a place like that or if you happen to be in Lexington, just drop by and tell them all we can good in the woods said hello. But if you've exhausted all that and still can't find any Irish bacon, Canadian bacon will work just fine. So unlike American bacon, Irish bacon doesn't have a whole bunch of fat on it. So you're going to need to keep a real close eye on this stuff, otherwise you may wind up with something that resembles shoe leather but doesn't taste as nice. So when it gets to looking like this, it is done. D-U-N, done. <laughs> For now, we'll just stick that bacon off to the side. So let's move on to the egg. Now here's where I made a little bit of a mistake, and I mentioned you may need some olive oil earlier in the video. I thought there'd be enough fat from the bacon to make the lid non-stick. It wasn't. So I advise you to put a little butter or maybe even a little olive oil and cook that egg up. Now I was going to make it over medium because that's how I like my eggs. But then I got to thinking, who wants to take a bite out of a sandwich and have it squirt all over the place? Huh, <laughs> not me. I don't think Rodney does either. Am I right, Rodney? <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I kept scraping at the sides and managed to get it loose, so in the end it didn't stick too badly and I got it off of the pot lid there and put it on top of the bacon. Now we'll move this operation on into the house. Off camera I stuck a couple slices of that bread into the toaster oven with a little cheese and got it all nice and melted. Now it's just down to assembling. Hey, if you enjoy this content, please consider supporting this channel by clicking one of the links in the description. Thanks. What do you say we get a closer look? Woo, I want you to look at that. Bet y'all didn't know that was a feature of a Dutch oven, did you? Woo, look at here. Look at what we got right there, that deliciousness. We've got some melted cheese, some egg, we got a little Irish bacon. Woo! gonna be hardly fit to eat we'll keep going till we find a good spot won't we i guess all we got left to do is give her a taste and here it goes mm, mm, mm. y'all that'll be all right as long as there's a light by a neon moon you know what i'm saying that right there is absolutely fantastic i tell you you make that on your camping trip, y'all get around that fire, eat you some of this, mmm, gonna be hardly 15. 
y'all keep going until you find a good spot, which I got to tell you, pretty dad Jim good advice. We're living in troubling times right now. A lot of things going on in the world that we'd rather not happen, but they're happening nonetheless. Reach out to your neighbor. Let them know you love them. So until next week, y'all going out there and being nice to one another. Sure love y'all. God bless. <laughs>